my idea for this video is to just go through uh, utilitarianism and uh, to keep you from reading that big ass paragraph in on Wikipedia. So I'm going to relate this to economics as well. So it's not fair if the result isn't fair. So let's just start off with the story. The story is that the earliest effort to establish a principle of fairness is based on the view that result is what matters. Now, the general idea was it is unfair if people's income are too unequal. So, for example, it is unfair for a bank president to make millions and for a teller to make thousands. It is unfair that a store owner makes a large profit and her customers to pay higher prices in the aftermath of a winter storm. The efficiency requires a quality of income, and this was the original idea, but it was wrong. Now, utilitarianism is a principle that states that we should strive to achieve the greatest happiness for the greatest number. And I think this is total bullshit, but then uh, I'll, leave the, I'll leave it to your opinion at the end of this video. Now, the idea, uh, the idea that only equ equ equality brings efficiency is utilitarianism. It was developed by ut utilitarians Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill. These people's names are like so horrible so hard to pronounce and the idea that they came up with was that the income must be transferred from the rich to the poor up to the point of complete equality and this is where uh, this is the point where there are no rich and no poor uh, yeah this is a really idiotic idea but gotta learn it so the reason behind the idea so everyone has the same basic wants and similar capacity to enjoy life the greater a person's income, the smaller the marginal benefit of a dollar. That is, for example, the million dollars spent by a rich person brings a small marginal benefit to that person compared to the marginal benefit that the thousand dollars spent brings to a poor person. By transferring money from the rich to the poor, more is gained than loss. The weakness of the utilitarian ideal is that it ignores the cost of making income transfers, and income transfers are all the processes that we have to go through. So the big trade-off, this is the important part. Uh, the important part was utilitarianism, the, you should know the definition and the idea, who it's developed by, and uh, yeah, and uh, you don't really need to know the reason behind the idea, just the definition and who it's developed by. Now this big trade-off is where you really want to pay attention. The big trade-off is, oh, you should also know the weakness of utilitarian ideal that ignores the cost of making income transfer. But back to the big trade-off, the important stuff. But the big trade-off is the trade-off between efficiency and fairness. It is based on the following facts, that income can be transferred from people with high incomes to people with, to which, to, Income can be transferred from people with high incomes to people with low incomes only by taxation of high incomes to people. I don't know why I have an extra two here. To people. That's why it didn't make sense. To people with low incomes. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense now. So taxing paychecks only makes people work less. This results in quantity of labor being less than the efficient quantity. So we have underproduction, something like that. Now, taxing people's income from capital makes them save less, and this all results in the quantity of capital to be less than the efficient quantity, again, under production. The smaller quantities of both labor and capital means less quantity of goods and services being produced, and when there is, are less quantity of goods and services being produced, that means probably less trading, and this leads to a smaller economic pie, and we want our economic pie to be as big as possible. So there's a trade-off between the size of our, the, our economic pie and the degree of equality that occurs. So the greater the amount of income redistribution through income taxes means that there is a greater inefficiency, means that there is a greater or there is a smaller economic pie. So a dollar transfer from a rich person does not equal a dollar to a poor person. A portion of the dollar is always lost to uh, transfer services and processes. So at the end of the day, this is most likely to happen. A highly taxed entrepreneur will most likely shut down his business, fire all the employees, and then all the employees have to find another, uh, another perhaps maybe a lower paying job. And that is, always, that is not a good thing. That is why I think Utilitarianism is a stupid idea, and uh, but it's really up to your opinion after um, after watching this video. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video, and that's it for this idea of it's not fair to it's not fair if the result isn't fair. In the next video, we're gonna go through it's not fair if the rules aren't fair. Uh, yeah.
So please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll see you guys for the next video where we'll talk about it's not fair if the rules aren't fair. If you want to, you could go to Wikipedia and read more about utilitarianism, but then it's pretty long. I don't, don't think it's a good use of your time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you